Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech. In today's video, guys, we're going to be looking at a low profile cooler from Noctua. This is the NHL 12. Now, this is a 93mm tall cooler, which can be made into a 66mm tall cooler when you do remove the top 120mm fan and just keep that 92mm fan on the bottom. In terms of testing this cooler, well, once I go over an overview, what I'm going to be doing is testing this in many configurations. You, know, you can have it in the mode where you do have the two fans. You can have the two fans with the low noise adapter. You can have the bottom fan and also the bottom fan with the low noise adapter. There's loads of different combinations that you can have this cooler in. And that's what I'm going to be testing today just to see how this cooler performs in all its kind of scenarios. And also, even though Noctua don't recommend it, I'm going to be testing this cooler with the i7 overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. Now, I just want to say Noctua do say you shouldn't really overclock with this cooler. But from my testing, it does actually, yeah, it does actually have the potential to be in systems that are overclocked since it's actually that good. Anyway, without further ado, let's check out the cooler and here, yeah, let's see what you get in the box. So you get said as always, as for a quick unboxing, inside the box we're presented with the accessory box. This contains all the usual Noctua accessories, including very solid metal pieces for installation onto both AMD and Intel platforms. Other accessories include the NZH1 thermal compounds, two low noise adapters, a four pin extension cable, a Y splitter cable, and a metal Noctua case badge. Also included are four middle screws and four rubber vibration compensators if you decide not to use the 120mm fan and want to install it in your case, a considerate touch. Lastly inside the box we have three instruction manuals which all make the cooler look very easy to install on all platforms, with the AMD platforms including only a few steps to install the unit. On to a further look at the unit, the cooler's dimensions are 150 by 128 millimeters, with the height being under 10 centimeters at a mere 9.3 centimeters, with both fans attached. Now, as you can remove the top fan, the cooler can be made into a 66 millimeter tall cooler if desired, and as printed on the box, can it as an advertisement? Now, of course, this will hinder performance as you'll be moving the large of the attached fans. However, this feature makes this cooler very ideal for people wanting to install it in cases with very little cooler clearance. The heatsink features four 6mm copper heat pipes which pass evenly through the heatsink, of which many aluminium fins are quite tightly packed together. This may improve performance at higher RPMs, however, we'll have to see. Now on the bottom of the cooler we found a somewhat reflective shiny base and therefore will mean it'll be easy to remove thermal compound in the future. Now the heatsink has been fully nickel bladed and therefore has a silver colour throughout and looks pretty damn good. As for the fans, the unit features a 120mm fan as mentioned, the NF-F12, and also a smaller 90mm fan, the NF-B9. Now both are standard thickness and attach to the heatsink with metal clips and rubber dampeners. RPM ranges of the fans are 1500 and 1600 RPM respectively, with both fans featuring a minimum speed of 300 RPM with 20% variance. Moving on to the installation of the NHL 12, as a quick run through, to get started you want to remove the rubber insert from the back plate and then place the appropriate screws through the holes and screw it under your board. Now after you've done this you can then place the four washers on top of the bolts and screw this into place with the two mounting bars with the four thumb screws after deciding of course which orientation you want the cooler to be installed. Now after you've done this you can then apply thermal compound provided and then screw in the cooler from above your motherboard with the two screws that are fixed to the cooler. This makes installation very easy indeed and overall in my opinion is much better than screw in the actual cooler from underneath your board. Do note that I did use MX4 thermal compound, this will make my testing fair as I've used this for the past three years. Finally onto the performance, testing this cooler on my i7-4790K with all cores locked at 4GHz with the automatic vaulted set, the NH-L12 was able to keep the CPU running at a surprisingly cool temperature. This is while of course running my usual benchmark of rendering out the pretty intensive 2016 How to Build a Gaming PC Guard in Adobe Premiere CS6. Now as for the performance of the cooler in the single 90mm fan mode, this is also in the chart for you to compare. Although this cooler is not meant for overclocking and actually mentioned quite a few times on Noctua's website, I wanted to see how this fared with my 4.4GHz overclock. Now temperatures recorded was indeed very warm, but not overly warm when you compare the size of this cooler to others on the chart. And overall this cooler did do a fantastic job at keeping the i7-4790K cool and does justify the cost when you take into consideration the small amount of noise this cooler makes when at stock speeds. Anyhow, let's roll the outro and conclude on the NHL12 cooler from Noctua. So guys, there we are. There are my findings on the L12 from Noctua. Now, personally, I think it's a very good cooler. It is very, very good. It really does shine. And even though it might not be the best performing in, in them overclocking results, as it was kind of like a second from the bottom, regardless of that, when you're testing this, well, when you're actually using this cooler in the normal type of scenario where you're not overclocking your processor, it really does do very, very well. And to be honest, it's very, very quiet while, you know, when it does that and I think also when it's in the low profile mode in the 66mm tall mode when, you, when you've only got the one single 92mm fan it really does perform incredibly well for its size and the fact that 92mm fans aren't very big and combined with this cooler as well 
being horizontal and actually being a low profile colour in general. I think you're getting a lot of performance here from a very small unit and a very quiet unit as well. So without further ado, I personally would recommend it and I'm looking forward to using this cooler in a mini ITX build guide that I'm going to be posting to the channel very, very shortly. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. If you are thinking of picking up the NHL 11, uh, L12 from Noctua, um, I will have all the links in the description, links to purchase it and also to check out further specifications on Noctua's website. And here we have a do. Thank you very much for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.